We need a new intro. Oh shit! <laughs> There's your intro. <laughs> See how long we keep this up, shall we? <laughs> Welcome to Let's Sing Fire Emblem, everyone. This is Bangs, and I'm trying to run out of his voice, so we'll stop talking. I start listening. I have no expectations for this. <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen. I got I got really big lungs by the way, so I can keep this up for quite some time. But yeah, hi guys, my name is Mangs. I welcome here, you guys, back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7, Hector Hard Mode, something something. Joined by everyone's favorite prisoner, Mecca. And, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> and uh, we are about <laughs> <I'm so cheerful. laughs> We're about to go meet the living legends. That's I'm really excited about oh this. Oh my god. This is can I uh, touch him. You, you maybe you maybe you will be able to touch him. So we're going to we're going to the Nabata Desert, and you guys know what that means. Everyone's favorite type of maps, desert maps. Wah, wah. Everyone loves the like fucking a forest, but less green. Due to be though to be completely honest, I feel like the one desert map in this game is a lot better than many desert maps in other Fire Emblem games. I feel like as far as desert maps goes, this was clearly the one that makes me want to kill myself the least. So. My favorite is FE5s. Really? Wait. Yes. FE5 doesn't have desert maps. Exactly. Oh! <laughs> the Nevada Desert. <clears throat> a wasteland of scorching sun and frigid nights. It rejects human life. Any careless enough to enter its embrace is doomed to wander lost. Uther, the Marcus of Ostia, spoke of a legend. Leven. Leven legend? <laughs> Living legend. All the voice acting. <laughs> Guided by his words, Hector head straight into the desert, despite not trusting deserts and their ilk. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Man, you were probably sunburned to death in the desert. Like, you'd have this one giant red spot on top of your head. Chapter 23. Living... And that's the light from a microphone you did. Alright. <laughs> Bow, bow, bow. This is the desert, despite there being grass there. So hot. I think I'm going he's to not, die. He's not even in the desert yet. <laughs> hey, do you, hassle. hey, do you want me to carry you on my back? Huh? No, just let the guy burn, please. <laughs> why Why are you looking at me like that? Such kindness from you surprised me, Lord Hector. Is this some fever dream? What's that supposed to mean? I was concerned that you might collapse again like the other day. You're usually so like doing all the <laughs> You're usually so brusque. It's no wonder he's confused. Don't be shy, Nils. Let him help you out. But do as you're told, boy. <laughs> Hector does not care about consent. Wah. <laughs> Aha, rape jokes. I do like this picture though. It's kind of cute. Wah. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. Hector is a cool guy. Marcus Ostia said. Enter the desert and move west. Someone will meet you. Oh yeah, just go. Oh, that, that's specific. <laughs> go west in the desert. That's like even even Uhai's GPS is better than this. Uhai's <laughs> GPS works. <laughs> yet, this is gonna work too, unfortunately. And yet we see no one. I wonder if we need to move farther in. You just got here. There's like grass behind. You might be right. Here. What? This heat is taking its toll on you. If you please take my arm. I couldn't. Oh, come now. Very well, forgive me. Best romance ever. Hmm, is something wrong? It's strange. What is? Well, if you treat my brother and me so normally, doesn't it bother you? Our powers, our looks, we're different from people. Has that been bothering you? Mecca, you're breathing into the microphone. What's wrong I'm with- <laughs> Yes, you are! Stop it! You're doing it on purpose, you fucker. <laughs> What's wrong with being a bit different from other people? Yeah, yes. When I look at you, I don't see other people. I see Ninian. I see a normal, kind-hearted girl. And that's exactly the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak truly? Hmm? Lord Hollywood. I love how they just finish by... Oh! Best girl! Best girl! Who's that? I don't know this character. <laughs> oh yeah! Most beautiful wife. Just pixels. Calm down. No. Mecca, you're breathing into the microphone. Stop it. Fuck off. This has, never been, this has never been an issue for like 15 parts. Why are you doing it now? Just put the microphone out of your fucking nose. Anyway, so this is like the most beautiful girl in all of Fire Emblem. 
And next to him is Luis. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, it's uh... a... <laughs> ah. uh... Thanks likes this girl's with beards. <laughs> I, come on, Athos is a total daddy. I believe someone approaches. Is it Lord Pence? No, it's a group sent by Uthor of Ostia. Hawkeye will find them soon and bring them here. Hmm, your companion is still searching in the desert. He's not having any luck finding what he's after, is he? No, I believe he'll find it before long. However, a group of bandits is also moving. They found Pent and are preparing to attack. Oh no, poor bandits! <laughs> oh, that's... Are you concerned for his safety? No, Lord Pent can take care of himself. Understatement of the fucking year. However, if his return here is delayed... Yes? Will you take your evening meal without us? I will wait for Lord Pent, but I'm sure you must be hungry. <laughs> Lord Athos, what is it? It's you, Louise. You are a most amusing woman. Since Pent brought you here, I feel like I've laughed enough for ten years. You have my gratitude. Hmm? Not sure if I understand, but I'm pleased to have been of service. Ha ha ha! By the way, the visitors are coming from Lysia, aren't they? I wonder what they want. You... <laughs> Lord Archsage, you're coloring. Are you well? Once it that took me like way too long to be like. Oh. <laughs> One should oh, begin to turn. He None. Wants to do the tango with Louise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can halt the wheel of fate, but as long as there is hope, people continue to try. They do not know the despair that awaits. He's he's predicting the future parts of the LP. Hmm, Lord Hollywood. Minion. Maybe he just saw the past or the present. <laughs> Who knows? Over it's all there. suffering. Someone is under attack. Are you sure? Oh no, he's being attacked. <laughs> oh, that must be him. Looks like a lone man and a crowd of bandits. Let's help him! I just like seeing someone face overwhelming odds. Yeah, let's go protect the bandits. Hold on, Lin, I'm going with you. Hey, you two. Where are you, you gate or you energy? I'm believable. That's all you do. Let's go. Have to keep up with one's friends, right? Hector, hurry, I'm going to leave you behind! This is as fast as I can go. <laughs> it's just very fast. I got this armor on and... Blast, slow down, show off. Blast. Blast. He's not confident against armor. That's a lot of enemies, though. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> bandits. <laughs> Look at this kindly soldier's man. He's waiting all by himself to give us his treasure. Oh, <laughs> Paul. I do believe you're right. Such generosity. It's taken me many days to find this. I worked too hard to hand this over to you, Thugs. So rude! To think we were going to let you live. We fragile creatures, you can't trifle with our emotions, so... You're a bold... <laughs> I almost said you're a bold man. You're a bad man. He's so bad, Jasmine. Oh, Paul, I know it, I really do! My heart... Yeah, he's like a four-star unit, calm down. <laughs> it is breaking! What, you too, Jasmine? And you as well, Paul? Let's go, we must cons convince him to reconsider. I have no wish to hurt you. Understatement of the fucking year. Alright. So, welcome to chapter 22. Desert chapter. This desert chapter uh, has a very simple objective. You gotta protect all of these bandits from the mage in the middle. Um, he's gonna start massacring them on turn one. And you gotta try to stop him as soon as you can. Um, they're, they don't know what awaits them, sadly. Uh, so they're foolishly going after him. You just gotta try and keep as many of them as live. And that's how you unlock the Gaiden chapter. <laughs> the worst part is, I'm not even fucking joking. <laughs> so, it's true. Yes. I mean, kind of. I think in Hector Harp mode, is actually more about protecting Pence than protecting the enemies. But in normal modes, yeah, for sure. So uh, this map will be Fog of War the moment we start. So this is our only chance to really see the scope of the landscape. There's two bosses here. We got Paul. Uh, with his Killer Axe, and Jasmine with his Steel Axe and Hand Axe, and a Steelable White Gem, which you should definitely try to get your hands on. Um, they have an A support, so be very careful, don't let them come within three squares of each other. It's not gonna matter all that much, but it can give them some rather nasty boots, or boots, boosts. Boots. To I wish it gave him boots so I could steal them. <laughs> But yeah, be careful like about... Full, yeah, that's full avoid right there. That's yeah, be nasty. very careful about these guys. They can easily take you down if they if you allow oh, them to. I think to. it also gives full crit, actually. That's yeah, they, bad. they are very nasty. Jasmine, I, Paul is definitely the nastiest one because he has the killer axe, but Jasmine can also take you really off guard with his hand axe, so be very careful. They can these move bosses through. are also like really fucking fast, like for FE7 enemies. Yeah, they are, like, actually. Really? 
So, uh, there's a lot of Viver Knights, there's a lot of Mages, and there's a lot of Shamans and Archers, a lot- a varied group of enemies. In- in Eluid's story, you actually start up here, but in Hector's story, you start down here in the desert. Though, these tiles right here, the sand tiles, they are actually normal tiles. You can move as far as you want on those, but these desert tiles will really, really, really fuck you over. I'm not sure why Marcus is failed on this map. Um, so, basically the desert is really tough to navigate in, it costs you a lot of movement, so by generally you want to bring flyers and... Bling. Are you Asian again? <laughs> you want to bring flyers and thieves can also move unimpeded through the desert. Uh, Fuck ca you. Caster, well no actually, they can't, that's a pitfall. Um, <laughs> Kanas can also move, uh, any magic users can move unimpeded through the desert as well. Um, the guidance chapter requirement to get chapter 22x is to get 700... 23. Uh, 23x is to get 700 points of experience on this map. Uh, this is usually not too tricky to do if you bring some staff users that can torch and physics spam, but you do gotta be careful. Um, uh, also, there are some hidden items uh, on this chapter that you can get. Thieves will always get them if they step on them. Other units, I do believe, have a luck percentage chance to uncover them. Uh, yeah, I, I keep forgetting if it's luck percent or 9% in this game. But yeah. like I know between FE6, FE7, it's the same, and then FE8, it's different. Yeah. There's also a, res a reset trick that you can use to get the items guaranteed without a thief. But yeah, but I'm gonna bring Legault anyway head. because he's good for this map. Uh, so it's gonna take forever then. So right, right here we have an ocean seal. This is gonna be very important because it's worth a lot of money. Uh, here we have a body ring. Uh, you can get the Feelus Might ring right here, which gives you 10 plus attack. It's a dancer ring that Ninian can use. You get the Eclipse Tome right here, which is basically just free money. Um, and right here you got a hero quests, and right here you got a light brand, so... Well, I too like to look up Manx videos when I'm trying to find out where the items are instead of just looking up a fucking map. Hey, it's nice to... <laughs> oh, it seems like my battle preparations were wasted. So we're gonna bring uh, Priscilla... I was Le wondering what Lowell was doing. <laughs> Priscilla, Legold, Kanas, uh, Fiora, and Heath I think we're gonna bring actually? Because he's a good flyer on this map. Ninian we definitely want to bring for dancing utility. Okay. And then I'm thinking either Raven or Sarah for extra staff utility. I think we're mm. gonna go with Raven, to be quite honest. The Raven probably doesn't double the bosses, does he? No. Actually, you he can might. double one of them, I think. Yeah, so we might want to bring him as a boss killer. Possibly. Now, uh, Mecha, you said that I, I should promote Fiora in this chapter? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's do it then. Lysian Whip. Let's go. It's gonna be a little tougher with her promoted to get like experience, but then again, she's not getting much anyway. Enemies are getting really underleveled at this point. Don't forget to check your rankings. Or you oh. did on last uh, last yeah, video. Yeah, actually, we did. So you, but we can you check. Could them. do it again. We can check them again. Um, so those are some nice promotional gains right there. They're all right. Nice for durability, but I wish you got like speed. Yeah, this also allows her to use swords, which can actually be somewhat useful against uh, some of the uh, bandits on this map. So, I'm gonna bring armor her slayer. in. <laughs> gonna bring her an iron, an iron sword. Can you use armor slayers at base? No, of course not. Right. E swords, because it's GBA Fire Emblem. We don't really do good promo bonus bonuses in this one. All right, all right. So the axe reavers are gonna be nice against the bosses, though. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can kill the boss with Heath, that's really nice. It's like 100 EXP for the guiding requirement, and it makes promoting Heath a lot easier. Yeah. So, we're, I, don't, I do believe there are some mounted units here as well, so we'll bring the Horse Slayer and the, I guess, the Heavy Spear. I don't know why Kanas has that. I'm not sure where Heath is going with all these weapons, because these enemies <laughs> are like spread out all over the map. You can't really get to them all. <laughs> oh, oh, Armor oh. Slayer. Really. Yeah, I will give that to Raven. Yeah, do you have like no better swords than this? Um, no, I actually should have bought some more swords. I kind of fucked up a little bit, I guess. No, I mean like good ones, like Killing Edge and Silver Sword. You got neither of those, that's gonna be annoying. Mm, I have, uh, Raven can't use Silver Swords yet. He does have oh, a right. Worm Slayer, right. though. That might actually be more useful since there's some Vibrance on this map. <laughs> hey! No Long Sword. <laughs> <laughs> no Long Sword, no, that's very true. Alright, we'll need to bring Hector some... You can get the Brave Axe, I guess. There might be some situational yeah. use for that. Mm-hmm. I can think of one situational use for the Brave Axe. Uh, I think we're done. Oh, we definitely want Priscilla to get a... Uh, mm, Unlock. I think I'm just gonna give her another... I might use my torch. I might use up oh, my you're torch. Gonna, you're gonna take your time, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know. It depends, turns. It depends uh, I on guess the... if you use Minion, it's only like 9 turns, but whatever. 
Yeah, but I'm also bought. I also gave a torch stuff to Kanas because he might actually get to a rank where he can use it. And you know, it's experience. Okay, so uh, what we need to do now is that we believe we need to have Fiora on the edge so she can go and get Pence. Yes, I suppose. And Heath can take care of the Armor Knights. Actually, he might not be able to. Nah, he can take one hit from the Steel Bow. That's fine. But um, can he take a Steel Bow and two Armor Knights? That's the question. If if Raven fucks over this guy, then I think he'll be fine. Oh, we need the Armor Slayer on Raven. Uh, Planning. Armor Slayer. Let's get over here. You don't need the Iron Sword, Raven. What the fuck do you need an Iron Sword for? Actually, he might actually need the Armor Sword now that I think about it. Because he doesn't double this with... This micromanagement is unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we also got an elixir. I'm not sure if anyone needs that. Not yet, but I, I predicted by turn two everyone will need an elixir. <laughs> Shut up, Mecha. All it's right. probably best on the flyer. Yeah, that's what I... go off alone. So, uh, you don't think we should use any of these... Any of these uh, six stat boosters, do you? Nah, not right now. Maybe the, the rope could go on Fiora. I was thinking about Actually, that, because 32 yeah. hit points is not great. Yeah, if you really want to micromanage, you could uh, get our heal by Kanas on turn one. So wait, and then use the Angelic Rope and can then heal her again with like a Physic, but that's like really big micromanagement. Eh, I don't know. Yeah. I have no patience for micromanagement. <laughs> They're ill. <ilk. laughs> oh, cool, she can use Silver Lances. That's actually really good. Yep. That is okay. good. That is good. She All right. doesn't have an Iron Lance now, doesn't she? Hmm. No, she might need one of those now that I think about it. Why can't I hold all these items? Ah, uh, it's annoying. I guess the Axe Reaver isn't that useful. Not if you have an Iron Sword now. Alright, let's do this. Sorry, Lowen. Sorry, Lowen. See you next time. We don't need the lockpick, but however, one thing that will be nice here is a torch. And I guess we can snag the elixir as well. Not her elixir, though. You no. want him to have enough slots to steal the guiding ring and the white gem, though. Good point. Good point. Alright. You didn't uh, show the guiding ring. It's on a mage on the left. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Here? I assume you want that. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, we definitely want that. Okay, so we gotta think about our turn one right now. Uh, getting getting rid of Paul really quickly would be nice. Um, Hector can probably take him with a Brave Axe. Uh, yeah, but not on turn one. <laughs> not on turn one. And <laughs> Hector like, also needs to stay around the starting point for obvious reasons that will become very obvious soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Alright, well, I think we can start. Let's see. Let's just take it as we go, like always. 17 minute intro, not bad. Okay, Merlinus became level 15. Of course, he loves setting up his tent in the in the desert. Oh, Pen starts all the way over there. Oh, okay. Okay, is, so. Don't worry, guys. This is Max's first time playing Hector Hard Mode. So. <laughs> all right, so I think stuff. I think the Ocean Seal is here. You already forgot. Your, your map is like right next to Skype. I don't know what you're doing. I know, but it's small, so. Oh, uh, okay. I, I think, think it's, it's there's like there's like four tiles where Raven and Kanas are standing, where it's not, and then it's right next to that. Yeah. Here? So, yeah, that should do it. If I use a torch, back. do I still get the item? Mm, yeah, because it's a thief. Right, let's do it. And that gives us the ocean seal, which is a very okay. nice uh, catch. 50k, boys. 50k. Yep. Okay, so uh, we obviously need to make our way over to Pence. Uh, what I can do, I guess, with Fiora... Oh, she actually starts out damaged. That's very good. Yeah. That's actually Just very good. Promote it. <laughs> Also. You're not gonna have Kanas do it. Kanas wants to get torched, dude. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, I guess. Reset. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> no. I guess I could do this and then heal Raven with Kanas. That works. Okay. Yep. Let's go. Then he can heal. However, I also I kind of want. Oh, Raven! <laughs> get HP on level up. Uh, oh, please get, get it. HP. HP. Get HP. Come on, Raven. Come on. Come on. Do it. Yes. Nice. Nice. Raven is probably moving into promoted status soon. To be fair. Yeah. But like your XP rank, it's gonna crash down if you keep promoting people. That's a good so. point. Although is isn't it at some point viable to like once a unit gets high enough level, don't they earn more experience as level one promoted units? No. They don't? <laughs> well maybe. I haven't studied the formula, but it would be a very small difference if it even exists. All right, so let's see how Fiora fuck? deals. She one route with an iron sword. What the fuck? She does. My Fiora's pretty good. So I mean, we're gonna have to face some crit rates, uh, but whatever we can do to the guy is good, I guess. I start with killing a ranged dude, really. 
Yeah, like oh. like this guy. Yeah, or, or the archer, because he does a lot of damage to Fiora. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. So look at Fiora right now, she's actually really good. I think you got like three strength level ups in a row. Kind of yeah. like mine, actually. It's pretty yeah. funny. It's really helpful to have a good Falcon Knight on Hector Heart mode. It is. Okay, so there's an archer right here, but we can still bring Heath up, but we've got to be careful because, uh, yeah, as you can see right here, he takes a lot of damage, which is not great. Also, Hector needs, I think, I think Hawkeye shows up, like, here or somewhere? <laughs> yeah, you, like, I don't think you, it's possible to move Hector out of his range on turn one because he has, like, two moves. Alright, I'll just keep Hector here then. So what I can do, I guess, is I can try to kill this guy with an Axe Weaver. Um, what? No, I won't be able to do it, I guess. I guess we can do... If you were gonna move Heath there, you should have killed the mage. Yeah, like, I guess. I mean, uh, near Paul, is what I mean. Yeah, good point. Oh wow, this guy can move far. Yeah, I guess... Welcome to the desert. Ah, I hate this map so much. Well, I you guess... don't like sand? <laughs> I don't like sand. It cores and rough and it gets everywhere. You know, I've been dropping prequel memes left and right, but this is the only one you seem to know. <laughs> I'm not good on my references, I guess. Alright, so I don't know what to do with this guy, really. I guess I'll just place Heath outside range of this guy. Maybe if you're lucky, you can bait the mage with him with the javelin, but I, don't, I wouldn't count on it. It's probably gonna go for Priscilla or Mermaid. Ah, so I'll just minion. dance, because why the fuck not? Because right. EXP. Oh, I forgot to keep track, shit. But I oh. think it's like, it's like 7 for Raven, and then... Like, already already you failed. Like I guess I can uh, go visit the house, why not? How much do you get for physic against? Like 20? 30? 30, 35, I think. right? Hey! Looky here! It's Faye! I think it's 35. You know what? Yeah, I'm watching I the fade. house all by myself. Do you that's know how Nils, to do fade. that? It's not, it's not Nils. You have stop to cheat and be good. So that's why I'm here. She's what a thousand years old. She doing? doesn't talk like that. Are you guys hunting for trash like that other guy? Let me tell you a secret. It's something good, but it's beneath the bones. I know stuff like that, because I'm really that's creepy. odd. Alright. So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Please don't kill me. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I feel so lucky. <laughs> I think if I had attacked with Heath right there, I would have gotten acquitted instead due to how the numbers are. Also, I really hope Raven doesn't die. I think he's gonna be fine, but I know there's a no an archer in range, as well as a brigand, so we'll see. It's not bad HP, actually. So, 30 for Raven. Just don't probably. get hit by this. Okay, there we go. Easy. Probably gonna get like 45 total then. Something along those lines. As long as you keep like a rough estimate. Yeah. That's like, I don't know, 15, give or take. Okay. Knoss did heal, right? Yeah. So yeah. Five from Knoss. 10 for Pence. Oh, wait. He doesn't <laughs> get EXP. Because he's a green unit! Now oh, you... I thought it was because it was a pre promote. Dirty fucking pre promotes. So, the funny part right here is that you can actually just lose Pence. I have watched. Oh! <laughs> Never mind, we're good. Yep. We're good. Taking risks. No! Wow. <laughs> Remember when we were like, uh, I don't want to put people on range on turn one. Like, I need to like, my turn one properly. Oh my like, god, I, I can't believe it. So yeah, you can't do everything right and still just lose pants, sadly, because he can't just get hit by the Wyverns. They have like a 30% hit rate against him, so it's a little bit shaky, but you should for the most part be fine. You can just yeah. do like me and dodge and you'll be fine. Man, Minion's so good. Oh, oh, a mage. Oh. <laughs> I think the Wyverns can actually want to kill Minion. I'm not yeah, sure, yeah. But they I, have steel lenses, they should. So I you're bad, so. as usual. Yeah. I think well, your turn one is like 60 experience. Yeah, some, some, something along those lines. It's like it's just Ninian, Priscilla, Fiora, Raven, and Kanas, right? Mm -hmm. No one else got experience. That's right. Yeah. So, as you can see right here, Pent is absolutely savage. We haven't even taken a look at him. Uh, yeah. Depending on where he moves, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But here, oh, there we go. So, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. All right, let's take a look at actual Pent. So, Pent is really good. Um, he has a really hot wife, and he has really high bases. You don't get him in this chapter, though. Uh, but he's really fucking good. We'll talk more about but him. But his growths are bad, so he can't be good. Ah, that's a good point. One out of five stars. Anyway, so, um, Hawkeye right here. He joined you, and we can actually recruit him right away with Hector. So Hawkeye is uh, a pre-promoted Berserker, and he's a really, really good one. 
Uh, his bases are really high, and he also has respectable growth rates for pre-promotes. He's a little bit slow, though. 11 base speed and 25 speed. He won't really go... Like, he, it's difficult to get him into doubling territory. Uh, but then I remember that Fire Emblem, Evan, <laughs> Fire Emblem 7 enemies are slow as fuck, so it's actually not that hard. Um, Hawkeye, for whatever reason, is one of the only characters in the Fire Emblem franchise that has a completely unique battle animation. I don't know why this is the case, but he does. He does not. Badass, that's why. <laughs> because they were just like, let's just give him a custom animation, because why they not? They wanted him to be shirtless. I think that's he's it. Fun. Though, he's fan service. Yeah, he's, he is fan service. He's a handsome lad. Um, but yeah, he, he has beastly cons, so you can use most axes without losing any speed. He has an absolutely absurd <laughs> high hit point base of 50 and 18 strength, so he hits like a, an absolute truck. Berserkers also get a passive 15% crit bonus, so if you give Hawkeye a killing edge, he pretty much becomes a sword master with an axe, which is pretty fucking hilarious. Oh, I thought it would be a sword master with a sword, because you said give him a killer edge, killing edge. Uh, killing, killing axe, my bad. So I rate, I rate Hawkeye a 4 out of 5 stars, because he joins with really, really solid bases, and, uh, well, if you train up Darch and you use the expensive ocean shield on him, he'll probably have a higher stats by this point, but Hawkeye is more than good enough for what you're facing at this point during the game. So what do you think about Hawkeye? A uh, really good unit. I field him for almost every chapter after he joins. There's no reason not to because he's just so tanky. Uh, 50 base HP is just absurd, as you said. And really, like, it takes a ton of things to die. I think if you give Hawkeye a pure water, he's even really good against mages because he just never dies ever. 11 speed is kind of low, but he can use the Brave Axe. He doesn't even lose speed from it because his 16 con is ridiculous. Uh, but the con is also a reason I would only give him like three and a half star or maybe even three. Because, oh, well, for one, he isn't around for very long, but also he can be picked up. Like, ah. He cannot be picked up by a lot of mounted units, so he's kind of hard to move around. Whereas Dart wouldn't really have that problem, but Dart's durability is a lot worse and his hit is a lot worse. So I still think Hawkeye is the much better unit between the two. And overall, I think Hawkeye is just a really solid, like, I, I only rate him that quote unquote low because he joins, like, in the middle of the game. If he joined Chapter 1, he'd be, like, the best unit. Hmm. Yeah, good point. I mean, I guess his only redeeming feature is the sturdiness, so... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh... Also, we can move on peaks. That's fucking funny. <laughs> oh, yeah! That's right. Alright, so let's go and recruit him. I'm not sure... I think I'll move Hector over here, but I need to deal with the mages if I'm gonna do that. So, let's go talk to Hawkeye. I love this recruitment conversation, by the way. It's one of my favorites. Ha! Ah, sh shade. <laughs> That's nice. Huh? Shade? Hmm? Hector does no consent here. Or Hawkeye, I guess. Wow! Who, who are you? I'm Hawkeye, defender of this desert. You're with them? You got some nerve threatening me. I will drive the bandits away. Guests need not fight. Huh? Hey, hey, what's going on? So that's how you get Hawkeye. Alright, so Hawkeye is going to be pretty useful. He can move decently in the desert. Uh, not as far as you might think, but he can move three squares, which is nice. It's the same as like every promoted unit that's not mounted, basically. Yeah, so as you can see right here, he one rounds the Vibrance without much uh, work. You can give him a hand axe, though. I think Hector's carrying an extra. No, he doesn't, sadly. Nope. But Could still. Could have had the hammer instead. Could have had the know. hammer. So I just. Hawkeye probably one rounds him with the hammer, too. He just doesn't care about what weapon he's using. He never loses <laughs> speed. I can't use the best stat. I can use the Luna Tome against this guy. I might. Do you have a plan if you don't crit? No. <laughs> How much does Heath do? Uh, oh, I'm not sure if he's going to get the kill without getting murked by all these mages and anything. Yep. Well, if we can bring him low enough... Yeah, it's not good. Unless, unless we barrier him up so he can survive. But first, let's let's, let's let's kill the ones that we need to kill first. So as you can see right here... Hawkeye with his amazing custom animations right here. Whoop! 50% crit with the killer axe. This is why he's amazing. He doesn't get a lot of experience though, sadly. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so... We need to do something about these mages. I think we'll send Legolt over here. I guess we can just do this. Why not? Why bother? <laughs> Why bother? Okay, so this archer won't. This archer won't be a problem. Um, I see like three units that can attack and five enemies. This is gonna be fun for Ninian. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be fun for Ninian indeed. I mean, I guess I could dance for Hawkeye and, and get rid of one of the mages, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but like, see, Kanas is killing one, Hawkeye is killing one, Heath is killing one, Fiora is killing one. I mean, I, I guess I, I guess I have to leave Paul alive. 
Oh yeah, for sure. It takes more than one unit to kill. But like all the mages can attack Minion, and all the wyverns can attack Minion. Well, all the one the one wyvern can. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll I'll move uh, move you around. And I'll get rid of this guy first. Since since I can't kill him with anyone else, and I sure. can't, I don't know if getting within. I mean, yeah, because. I guess uh, Heath cannot kill this guy. What's Heath speed like? He has nine speed. Nine. This guy, no, he won't be able to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. And I just gotta make sure that the archer can't attack Fiora. Yeah, so I'll need to attack him from this base right here. Now the problem with using the iron sword right here is that I think there's some Viber Knights in range. Um, but I can't risk Paul going for Fiora with a lance. His crit rate is gonna be way too fucking high. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I need to kill this archer. Raven can't really do anything else, so I guess this is fine. Although I'm slightly worried about Raven's hit points, actually. You know that Paul can also attack Ninian, right? I think. Or does he have no, two moves? He cannot. Oh, never mind. Warriors are bad. For some reason, TBA hates warriors. They do. Now, I don't know if it's safe to leave Raven um, out here without healing him, so I might have to do that. Although, Kanas really needs to... I mean, maybe I can... Does Priscilla have range? I don't think she does. No, she does not. Ooh. Um, Ninian needs to fuck off. This is not good. Do you know if there's any enemies over here, Mecha? Uh, there's a bunch of Cavaliers, but they might not have... They may or may not have moved on turn one. I don't know their AI, but I know they're out there. Hmm. They might come up, but like at this point, can you really do anything about that? Well, this guy, anyway? this guy needs to die. As long as I can get Minion away, uh, well, you still in range of the mage, no matter what you do. No, but I gotta get away from this guy. 